Hello once again, my friends. It's your buddy, Fluffle Husky, welcoming you back to the Bark Park. Today, we're going to go off the beaten path a little bit. I'm not normally known for top 10 lists. I don't even know if I'd call this a top 10 list, just a list of 10 things that I like. We're going to be going over 10 places in video games that I'd probably sleep in. We're also going to have some special appearances at the end because I asked you guys on Twitter, where, what video games and where no where and what video games would you mm -mm. where and what video games would you guys see yourselves probably sleeping in before we get into the video if you guys are new around here go ahead hit that subscribe button ring the bell like the video and leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what places in video games you could probably fall asleep in but without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> now this list is in no particular order so i'm just going to jump into meridia from super metroid the atmosphere of the swampy caverns here gives me the impression of an open, warm environment with a salty, cooling breeze that blows through the cavern's pockets gently. The sound of the wind, the flowing water, and the distant ambient noises would make sleep come fairly easily for me. At number 9, we have any of the caves in Twilight Princess. The dimly lit caves of Zelda's Twilight Princess hold an eerie tranquility that makes traversing them a really nice reprise from the horrors of Hyrule. While not all caves are safe, the ones that are would offer a pleasant burrow for a brief hibernation. A cave like this could be located anywhere in the world. It gives us the chance to customize and cater to whatever needs we have to make our resting experience perfect. Are we high in the mountains seeking shelter? A small campfire could keep us warm. Thinking about that makes me want to take a nap right now. Number eight is gonna be the Reverse Caverns in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This one might seem a little strange since it's so bizarre, but I love the idea that the water stays in place when you travel through the castle upside down. So I kind of feel like laying back and staring up at the water would give a bizarre serenity, making sleeping here absolutely a unique experience. I feel like the water droplets would fall upwards, hitting the water and the ceiling above you, their drips echoing throughout the caverns offering a little white noise in the background. At number seven, we have Anywhere in Pelican Town during the fall season of Stardew Valley. Yeah, this might be a basic response, but come on, fall is the best season, autumn is the best season, and I could very easily sleep just about anywhere in Pelican Town. The life of a farmer is a hard one, but hard work makes the rest all the more pleasurable. And since autumn is the best season, like I already said, just find a nice tree out in the woods to lay against and watch the beautiful waves of colorful tree leaves dance in the wind. That would be bliss. At number six, we have Evening Lake in Spyro Year of the Dragon. A beautiful sunset, plush grass, running water, a warm lake to relax in, and so many other reasons to love Evening Lake. The only thing missing would be a cold drink, some expertly cooked barbecue, and you have the perfect recipe for a five-star resort getaway where R&R is never in short supply. Also, Bianca, what's up, girl? Number five, we have the Wise Owl Forest from Dark Cloud. If you've ever felt adventurous, it'd be hard to beat the calling of the forest for a good old-fashioned camping trip. The dark cover of the tall trees, the wind dancing through their leaves, some soft earth to curl up on, its open fields, all of this is the perfect setting for your campsite. And since owls are undeniably the best bird ever, getting to listen to them serenade you to sleep would be just fantastic. Number four is going to be a bit of a curveball here because I think the Aether mod for Minecraft would probably be better than regular Minecraft. While the Aether may technically be a mod, I think that's still valid. Imagine for a moment that you're laying in the grass, staring up at the beautiful sky, watching the animals of the Aether soar through the clouds, the sweet scent of the exotic fruits that grow on the native trees wafting, filling your soul. How peaceful that would be. Number three is gonna be any field at night in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus is rife with many different and unique areas that anyone could find comfort in. But this entry is more related to the time of day and the serenity that its music brings. The ocean of stars spread across the sky, the cries of Pokemon off in the distance, akin to that of a wolf call, 
and all of the various scents that the wilds would bestow upon you would make this world an easy choice. Coming in at number two, we have the Kingdom of Bermessia in Final Fantasy IX. While the Kingdom of Bermessia may lie in ruin, there are plenty of places to shelter yourself from the rain. How many of you have ever went to bed during a storm or playing some type of music with a rainy backtrack to it? Something about the sound of rain makes sleep come easy. So, in a kingdom where the rain never ends, all we would need to do is to find that perfect spot to exalt in the rain. And finally, topping off my list here is going to be Super Mario 64's Jolly Roger Bay. Now this is a bit of a combo entry here. Jolly Roger Bay has a famously relaxing audio track, shared with an even more famous water level, Dire Dire Docks. Jolly Roger Bay has shores of soft sand and gently rocking boats, waves crashing against its many docks. But the song you're listening to right now isn't actually from the original soundtrack. This was created from the perspective of listening to it underwater, created by Rainbow Force 5 on YouTube. I've used this song many, many times to relax, focus, or even sleep, and that's why I've added it here. So that's my top 10 in no particular order. And there's plenty of games that I left out that I probably could have filled to make this a top 20. But instead of me taking up and hogging up all the time, I wanted to ask you guys of the Bark Park where you think, what locations in video games you think you could probably fall asleep in. And this is what you guys had to say. Yoshi Kid says, any Mario Kart game. I'm aware of sleepwalking, but I want to up the ante on that term with a brand new one, dubbed Sleep Driving. Wear a seatbelt? Johnny Chu says Peach's Castle in Mario. You said anywhere, and that would be a luxury. That is true, and you get the added bonus of cake. Assuming you're there after the whole Bowser thing happens, though. Surfing Peach, who says, hear me out. That big bed you get in the best house upgrade in Monster Hunter World. Just the luxury of it. Exquisite. Uncle Frosty says, Minecraft. And I agree. There's a lot of... You could do so much in Minecraft to make your sleeping experience just... Fantastic. Zarok says Garrus's arms from Mass Effect. <laughs> Zar's real answer is I'd love to camp snooze on Endor from Star Wars. That forest is a vibe. Stocky Frog says Stray if I could be a cat. And any everywhere if so. The hardwood double bed from My Time in Portia or the simple bed from Grounded. Oh, we got a couple of answers there. Stocky's about to make his own video. <laughs> Marzipan says, all seconds stray. I think there's a part where you can nap with one of the robots. I legit set my controller down for a while and just let my kitty rest. So cozy. And I know what Marzipan's talking about. It's it's this scene right here where they're playing the guitar or whatever. King Crab says, Peach's Castle in Paper Mario 64. A lot of love for Peach's Castle in the various Mario games. Always looks so comfy to me as a kid, and I don't know why. Sometimes comfort, you don't need to know why something's comfortable. The farm in Stardew Valley when it's raining, so quiet and peaceful. If you ignore the weird moans. I think the weird moans make the experience though, Mags. Hezrar. <laughs> Hezzy says Ardenweald, World of Warcraft. Ardenweald is a really nice location. It was my favorite location in Shadowlands, so I second that. Mark says, oddly, the first thing that came to mind was Elizabeth's Library in Bioshock Infinite. I remember it being a cozy space and wanting to spend more time there. I still haven't played Infinite. I don't think I've played Bioshock 2 yet. Andrew, son of beef. <laughs> I love that name. Andrew, son of beef, says Red Dead Redemption 2 without a doubt, 100%. So just anywhere in Red Dead. And last but not least, Valeronian Cheese Deluxe Devil on Twitch says Alien Isolation. Hezra would probably agree to this. I don't think she would. But that's going to wrap things up here. Thank you guys so much for answering the question on Twitter. If you guys want to do more of these, I would love to get more community participation going on in videos like this. We'll do something like this again later on. Maybe we'll do a monthly thing where I ask you guys a question and uh, we get to read the answers here. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are new around here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give the video a thumbs up, and in the comment section down below, tell me where in a video game would you think that you could probably sleep at? 
doesn't have to be filled with enemies or anything. I'm just looking for locations. Go ahead and join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter so we can do more of these in the future. I stream on twitch.tv, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Yeah, as always, stay awesome. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And I will catch you in the next video. High five.